are these people? I have this tweet from Sam Husseini um, that reads, the whole ceasefire thing was a scam to stop the UNSC from implementing the ICJ orders from May. We here at INN have definitely been frustrated, to say the least, at like people aiming for a ceasefire as the end goal in Palestine, right? Like, what? What is your opinion of this blanket call? Like, and do you think there's a better demand? Like, <laughs> in a dream world, it would be the end of Israel. That would be my demand. But right. um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, but come on. <laughs> no, um, I'm with you. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, and, and Sam Husseini, bless him, he wrote he wrote that good article about the vaccine campaign. So that's kind of, I mean, you're referring to an earlier article, but th th there's a shared um, uh, point there in that, like, yeah, a ceasefire is not enough. And a ceasefire in order to allow polio vaccines, the oral administrative polio vaccines, right. in, which have a track record of being disastrous and dangerous and harmful, uh, that's not enough, like gosh it's hard to say because as you both know there's no international body okay the icc had its ruling although it wasn't really strong enough but um there's no international body that's gonna um prevent israel from co continuing to commit its genocide in an ideal world the whole war stops food and water are brought and medicines are brought into gaza immediately you know People who need uh, treatment abroad or outside of Gaza are are given are allowed to exit and get that treatment. That's the ideal. Just a ceasefire, no, because also um, we know from past years, including <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> including when uh, I lived in Gaza, ceasefires are meaningless. Israel doesn't adhere to them. Right. Uh, I saw that in two thousand nine and two thousand twelve. You know they. Uh, they, they, it's supposed to be a ceasefire and Israel goes on killing. And we've seen it already in this particular genocide, in this ongoing genocide uh, of Gaza. So a ceasefire, I agree with you, is is not enough. Um, however, how to actually force Israel to stop? Well, that's where the the axis of resistance, you know, including Hezbollah, including Palestinian resistance, resistance obviously including Yemen and other regional resistance, that's where... That's you know we need to be supporting them, and I'm I, I'm I'm sure you are, but you know instead of just calling for a ceasefire, <laughs> support the resistance. Like Yemen, thank God for Yemen. You know, right? Look what they 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 and they take hits for it too. Yeah, it's not like they're just that they're actually putting themselves on the line, and and but they're doing it because. Uh, it's not just uh, virtue signaling; they're actually doing something tangible to affect. Israel, its economy, and it, hopefully to affect, you know, bring uh, an end to Israel's brutal war on, on Gaza.